Hey, it's Tom Zeeb with Traction Real Estate Mentors, and in this quick video, I want to talk to you about the difference between value and price when it comes to real estate mentoring and real estate coaching. Keep it rolling and stay tuned. Value and price are two very different words, but a lot of people confuse the concepts behind them. Value is what you get out of something. Price is what you pay for something. The key to being successful in any walk of life is, on, is getting the right value for money, getting the right value for the price that you pay. Some things, as we all know, are overpriced, grossly overpriced, and some things are underpriced, and of course that leaves some things that are priced just right. Well, when it comes to real estate mentoring and coaching, there's a small problem these days. I think so much of it has gotten grossly overpriced. I mean, grossly overpriced. People spending 30, 35, 40, 45, $50,000 plus to learn how to invest in real estate? Well, how do you have any money left for marketing? How do you have any money left for anything else that you're gonna do? If you've emptied out your wallet and your credit cards and your 401k and all of your retirement accounts to pay for the coaching with the expectation that it's just magically gonna work, it's not. What works is when you apply what you've learned. What they're teaching you might work, but you still need to do it. And just because you drop 30, 40, $50,000 doesn't mean it automatically starts to work. And so the number of people that I meet on a pretty much a monthly basis, I mean, these uh, refugees, so to speak, wander in from these uh, real estate coaching programs. They wander into Traction Rhea monthly and they tell me, hey, I didn't learn anything. I emptied out my bank account. I have no money left to live on. I've got no money left to do marketing. I've got no money left to spend on postcards or letters or advertisements because I spent everything I had on that hope and chance that was promised to them in coaching, in real estate coaching, how to do real estate deals. It doesn't have to be that way. I know this is probably sacrilegious to say in the real estate education training community, but I don't care because I felt the same way when I started. So I don't care who gets mad at me. I don't care who doesn't like what I have to say. It flat out doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that you get the training you need to succeed. Yes, you can succeed. That is very true. There's nothing wrong with saying that. You can do it. It's a question of if you will do it. And in order to actually do it, you need to get serious about what you're doing and focus on what you're doing. You need to get your marketing out there. You need to learn how to negotiate. Then you need to have a good solid set of contracts so that you're able to put the right deals under contract and navigate them through till settlement. And th that, quite honestly, doesn't cost forty or $50,000. It doesn't have to cost that much. When I started, if I would have had to wait until I got that amount of money, I never would have gotten going. And I never would have found the success that I've had and I never would have been able to quit my job and I never would have been able to just do whatever I wanted to do on a regular basis because I would have been waiting until I had saved up that amount of money. And what tends to happen, if you think about it, nobody in their 20s or 30s has usually saved up that amount of money. It starts to happen more middle age, your 40s, your 50s, beyond. You have that money from your job, from your 401k, from the appreciation in your house. And people are asking you to tap that and take that money and spend it on them for training. Well, that's a lot of money to spend on training. I charge $6,000 for my boot camp because it's worth something, so I can't charge nothing. But I don't want you emptying out your bank account or emptying out your retirement account and giving me forty or fifty thousand dollars, personally, because I just don't think that's right. So some may disagree with me. That's fine. I don't care. I don't think it's right. I want to be able to train you the way I wish I was trained when I got started, and that means that I have to yes invest something, but not have it completely break the bank. Because after all, I need you to still. If you're going to be successful, I need you to still have money to do marketing. Postcards cost money, right? There's stamps, there's production. Envelopes cost money. You got the stamps, you got the addressing, you got the sealing, the folding, the stuffing. That's, it does cost money. Advertising costs money. You're going to have to have a budget to keep going. If you think you're going to get rich by next Tuesday, that's not going to happen. And so even though you're promised great riches in the short amount of time with no work, that's not true. I think we all know that's obviously not true. And yet we fall for that sales pitch on a regular basis. So what I, what I want to encourage you to do is think about what you're doing. To buckle down and get some training, yes, just don't empty your bank account to get that training. Because there's the other side of the coin as well. Well, there's the thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 programs that are overpriced. Well, there's plenty of free stuff out there as well. And that's grossly underpriced. All the free information on the internet, I mean, think about it. If you were able to do it, you would have already done it because all that information is sitting there for free. 
The problem is information is not enough. It needs to be processed and handled and become intelligent so that you understand what it is that you are doing. So therefore you have to invest something in it because that little bit of risk that you take with that $6,000, that makes a big difference as to whether or not you actually move ahead with what it is you say you want to do. So I'm telling you avoid free and avoid super expensive. Find that sweet spot in between. I mean, heck, if I had a dollar for every time that someone's told me they've got more out of my one day masterclass, I mean, not even my three day boot camp, but my one day masterclass, they've gotten more out of that than they have out of a 30, 40, $50,000 training program. It's at the beginning, it was frustrating. Then it was just sad. I said, that's kind of nuts. If you're coughing up that much money thinking that's just magically going to happen, still missing the fact that you've got to apply what you learn and do something with it. So as long as you're ready to apply what you learn and do something with it, then let's get you in at a reasonable investment. And then you have some money to work on your marketing plan and focus and get that going. If that makes sense to you, if that's something you want to learn more about and you think I'm the one to get you there, fantastic. Then I invite you to attend one of my events. Start with my one day rapid cash generator masterclass that I do throughout the country multiple times each year, or simply come straight to the three day rapid cash generator implementation bootcamp. You're going to be implementing at this bootcamp. It's not just sit there and learn and grab knowledge. I actually get you talking to motivated sellers in your area, no matter where you are from across the country, talking to motivated sellers who you can start to convert into deals. And then we learn how to work through those deals so that you understand what happens. You hit the ground running. In fact, you hit the ground sprinting when you come to my event. So take a look, go to tomzeeb.com slash events. You'll see all the events listed for the coming year uh, in your area, in the Washington DC area where I'm based or anywhere you want to be. Oh, in fact, if you're wondering where I am today, I'm in Bogota, Colombia, taking a few days off visiting in-laws uh, with my family. And uh, if I'm not as peppy as usual today, <laughs> it's because Bogota is about 8,600 8, feet up and uh, I'm feeling the altitude today. So it seems to be a, uh, seems to be a middle aged thing where I'm just feeling the altitude more than I used to. So. Uh, Keeping it cool and um, taking it easy here in Bogota, Colombia. It's tomzeeb.com forward slash events, and I look forward to meeting you soon. Take good care.